What is going on today, guys? Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great weekend thus far. So today, uh, even though we're inside right now, we are going to be headed out to the Dually. We're going to be checking out the new turbo system, driving it around, seeing how it performs, how it sounds, uh, my thoughts, really getting a feel for it. We haven't really driven it that much. Uh, today is pretty brisk which is good, perfect for uh, perfect for some boost weather. Uh, but the first part of this video, we're gonna be going over the Wrenchworks winter launch. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. If not, I'll give you guys a time right here, just skip right ahead to that. Uh, Wrenchworks, as you guys, most of you guys already know, uh, is a brand that Allie and I started for the guys and girls who just love to uh, turn wrenches on your projects. Uh, cars, trucks, dirt bikes, quads, whatever that may be, if you guys love uh, and have a passion for turning a wrench and working on your own stuff, that this brand is for you guys. So the Winter launch is now live on wrenchworks.com, but make sure you guys stay tuned for some of the details on this stuff because some of it uh, is a little bit of a pre-order that's going to be shipping at a little bit of a later date. That way we got can 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 uh, whew, can kind of gauge the quantities of what everybody is ordering stuff like that, especially because these are jackets. All right, let's try and run through some of this stuff so we can get outside and have some fun. So we have flannels now. These are actually the same flannels, just two different color patterns. We got the uh, lumberjack red and the black and gray uh, Wrenchworks logo up here embroidered. And then also on the back side of this, we got the uh, nut logo. This is actually on the back side of that. You can kind of see right in the uh, lower right hand corner. So got that on there, nice detail there. Uh, these flannels are uh, Definitely not the puffiest, but definitely still really, really warm. Uh, true to fit, true to size, I wear an extra large, so I would say that if you're an extra large or a large, just order your normal size, uh, but these flannels are super, super nice. Again, it's really hard to kind of see, even if I step back, we have really good pictures online, so if you guys want a little bit more better pictures, go online, check them out. Uh, so here are the flannels. Again, they're both the same, they're just different colors. So these, jackets i am so pumped on so just a little bit of background i am really not a jacket guy i never really ever wore jackets up until i found uh, a year or two ago uh snap on ryan gave me a snap on jacket and i'm like this is awesome i love this jacket and i've been wearing it ever since but i'm normally just a couple sweatshirt kind of guy i don't like wearing jackets now these jackets that we came out with are even better than the snap-on jacket, in my opinion. So some of the details on these jackets is they are actually uh, a dry duck jacket um, that we have kind of customized. So again, got the same kind of uh, logo inscription on the uh, flannel here. Got, of, I mean, come on. America, gotta have America on there. So we got that on the sleeve uh, here. They have a pocket on the inside here. These things, uh, they, I don't, I really, I mean, how do I describe them other than they're awesome? They have a hood here, that's the back. Uh, some of the detail on the back is they have this little, uh, it kind of dips down, that way if you kind of bend over, you're not showing your goods or anything like that, so that is a really, really nice detail. Uh, have, did I say, did I say they have a pocket on, they have a pocket on the inside here. One of the other big things, so I have my other snap-on jacket over here just to show you guys. They have kind of like the cuffs right here, and then it's cuffed on the bottom, which I really wasn't a huge fan of. I do like the cuffs on the sleeve because, uh, you know, wind can get up inside there. So these do have a cuff on the inside, but then the jacket kind of comes over them so it doesn't actually give the look of a cuffed sleeve. So I'm really, I really love that feature about this jacket. Again, you guys know I kind of get a little OCD about quality. Um, I want you guys to have nothing but the best. I don't want to put out cheap stuff. Everything that we put out has gone through samples of different companies, different brands. Everything that I put out, you guys can trust that it is a very, very high quality uh, clothing article. Did my phone just go off? I think Siri, Siri's over here. Yeah, Greg. <laughs> Look at Siri. She, I don't know why. She, oh, because I said seriously, maybe. Very, very high quality. Of course, even Siri, even Siri knows how the quality that we put out here at Wrenchworks. So that's the jacket, guys. Um, couple things to note on uh, the shipping time frame. Look at the descriptions when you guys are ordering. If you're having somebody else order for you, always check the descriptions. These two items, along with some other things, are a pre-order. They're gonna ship in a couple weeks after we run this for a little less than a week. So we're gonna run the pre-order about a week, then we're gonna place the orders, then they have to be made. So we're really rolling these out, kind of close to the fall stuff, but really, you guys aren't gonna get this stuff until 
like middle of December, right before the holidays, right before Christmas. So keep that in mind. This is not stuff that we have in stock right now. It is going to be coming. So uh, that's the jacket. Those are the flannels. Now, if you order a jacket or a flannel within the first two days, so we're going live on Saturday, and then you have till the end of Sunday, if you order a jacket or a flannel, uh, now these are not the exact color. Our socks are gonna be black. They're gonna have gold writing, like kind of like everything else, but this is the quality of the sock. So everybody loves snap-on socks. Now, snap-on socks are kind of uh, really, really heavy. These socks are super, super soft. Again, they're gonna be all black super i mean like i said we i go through sock samples like just to make sure that we have good socks for you guys like these are going to be awesome for you guys wearing boots uh they're kind of a taller if you guys wear them with sneakers they're all around just a really high quality sock so we're giving a free pair of socks for any flannel uh, jacket or flannel that you order in the first two days. If you order two jackets, you'll get two pairs. If you order one of each, you'll get two. If you order one, you'll get one. If you order five of each, you'll get 10. You know what I mean? So just every jacket or thing, you're gonna get a free pair of socks. Uh, other than that, they will be on the website for sale, just separate, but just so you guys know, you can get a free pair. Uh, if you order one extra pair, that will go on top of that. So don't add it to your cart if you guys already ordered that, that will be on top of it. So it's automatically, you're not gonna see anything come up, but just know if you guys do order that, uh, you will get a free pair. So trying to move along, oil caps. You guys know we've been going over some valve cover stuff. 03 and up Cummins, these go over your factory oil cap. I'll go out there, put one on the dually when we walk out there. These are really, really nice. I'm, I'm super, I, I love everything that we come out with, but these are really, really cool. We only have a limited quantity of these though, so if you guys want one of these things, even if you don't have an 03 and up Cummins, I mean, it's just a good, you know, put it on your toolbox, hold down your bills, it's a good paperweight. So uh, we only have a limited quantity that are gonna be available for right away shipping. These will ship right away, but if you bundle it with something that is not, it's gonna wait. So if you guys want this right away, we do have these, but order it separate from everything else. So key tags, we've been out of the original key tags for a while. You guys know we have new ones in. We got the red, white, and blue. Come on, I mean, cause, you, cause America, always cause America. Red, white, and blue key tags. These are now up online as well. We are gonna do a pre-order on the flip over beanie with the patch style logo. We do still have some of these from last year. We kind of went with this style last year. Still have some of those. We're gonna go with the patch style with the fold over, uh, keep those ears warm. Uh, so we got those as well. Uh, last but not least, we've been getting a ton of questions about the original black, gray, and gold hoodie that we had last year. The hoodies thus far this year are the diesel can, the red, white, and blue, the army green, and we now have a limited quantity coming back of the black, gray, and gold uh, hoodies. Again, those are in route. Every, a lot of this stuff is in route. Um, so again, just look at the descriptions. A lot of this stuff is going to ship at a later date so you guys can get it in time for the holidays. Again, I always, always stress this, guys. If you guys have any questions about an order, about shipping, about when you're going to receive it, anything like that, just send us an email, wrenchworks at hotmail.com. Uh, we'll get back to you right away so you guys know. But before you place an order, if you have any other questions, um, I don't want to spend like 30 minutes talking about this stuff. Everything is online. We try to make a description about everything, about when it's shipping, all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's <laughs> that, that's it. Just send us an email if you guys have any other questions. Again, most of this stuff is geared f so you guys can get it for the holidays, for Christmas. Uh, we're just rolling it out now so we can get the ball rolling on getting all of this stuff made. So all of the samples are here, the pictures are up online. I uh, appreciate every single one of you guys who have supported us in the past on all of the Wrenchworks launches. You guys are seriously awesome. I love you guys. All right, that's it. I think that's it. I might have to throw something else in here if I edit this and forget something. But let's go out to the dually. Let's go drive this thing. I'm super pumped. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be losing some traction. I can tell you that now that it's raining out. See, I told you I forgot something. I just hit the end record button and now I I forgot something. This is this is this might be the biggest part of the entire winter launch. Uh, I'll put a picture up on the screen. 
I'm sure most of you guys know exactly what that looks like. That looks like an ugly sweater. Uh, so if you guys go to Christmas parties or are wanting a ugly sweater, again, those are going to be pre-ordered, so it comes right in time. It'll ship to you. You will get them before any type of holiday stuff. But that is a Wrenchworks edition of an ugly sweater. So we got pistons, turbos, uh, the first gen with a uh, tree in the back. We even, we don't have reindeer. You don't have reindeer. No, those are not reindeer. Those are a moose with toe mirrors for antlers. I, like I said, it's ugly. It's gotta be an ugly sweater. So um, really cool spin off on that. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, pick one of those up for all your Christmas parties. It, it is, it, they, are, they are really, really cool. I'm super pumped about those as well. So again, thank you guys. That's gonna do it. Let's go outside, let's fire up the dually, and let's go drive this thing around and have some fun. So if you did miss yesterday's video, yesterday we finished up the installation on our new turbo and manifold on the dually. It is a 63 millimeter fleece cheetah charger, uh, which utilizes the factory turbo location. We also paired that with a steed speed manifold, which again, also keeps the turbo in the factory location. Also utilizing Fleece's new ARP manifold stud hardware. So that is what we did yesterday. Today, we are going to be driving this thing. We haven't really driven it much uh, and see how well this thing performed. First, we are going to put on our Wrenchworks oil cap cover. Like I said, 03 and up Cummins, take your factory oil cap. The factory oil cap is nice because it has that ratcheting feature. It never gets too tight, has an O-ring on it. So it is actually one of the best options for an oil cap. Uh, some of the billet ones get really, really tight. So that is all that you gotta do to install the oil cap. Look at that, woo! That's it. Then it just stays right on there. When it comes off, it's just kind of like a press fit. That's it, put it back on there. Not too bulky, looks nice. It's kinda like a gas cap. Boom, there we go. Oh man, might have, to, might have to tweak that a little bit to get it straight, but that is it. All right, we're done. We're done talking, let's drive this thing. Let's get this thing fired up, get it warmed up. So we've been driving around for a little bit. I actually just ran to the store. Um, I wanna hook up this temporary boost gauge uh, while we're driving around because our factory gauge right here, factory gauge only goes up to about like 35, 36, I believe. That's all the uh, computer reads. We're actually gonna head back to the shop and hook up this temporary boost gauge, get our, uh, get our custom zip tie pillar mount there uh, for this gauge. But so far driving this thing, uh, feels like a factory truck. The pickup is right like that. There's no lag. Uh, the exhaust brake feels really, really good. I can't really tell a noticeable uh, tone difference in the exhaust brake. Uh, that's why I really wanted to try and hook up the GoPros and uh, get some sound clips for you guys. Hopefully this rain stops. But just a quick side note as we're gonna be hooking up this temporary boost gauge, uh, and again, sorry these roads are uh, very bumpy, but uh, take into consideration that higher boost pressure numbers, uh, just because we want to monitor them, doesn't mean higher boost numbers mean higher horsepower numbers. It's very important uh, with all of the uh, airflow mods like the Banks intercooler, the Ram intake, uh, the, uh, the Monster Ram horn. Uh, the cooler the air you put through your engine, the more horsepower you're going to make. So just because you see a higher boost pressure number doesn't always mean higher horsepower. So uh, just keep that in mind. But the driving that we have done thus far feels really, really good. Feels just as responsive as the factory charger did. Uh, the only thing you really notice is when you put your foot to the floor, it's definitely pulling quite a bit harder, which again is kind of hard to show you guys. Uh, okay, there's tires. All right, we're gonna try and jump on this thing a little bit here. <laughs> it is it is right there. There is no lag in this thing whatsoever. Maxing out our factory boost gauge without a problem, super quick. I honestly have a feeling that our transmission is not gonna be too happy about our newfound power uh, with this turbo and manifold setup, but man, it is fun. It pulls 
quite a bit harder than uh, the factory setup. So we're at the shop now. We are going to uh, pull this thing inside. Looks like we need to add a little bit of coolant to this thing, hook up our factory gauge, and then hopefully this rain holds off a little bit so I can try and give you guys an accurate representation of how awesome this thing is performing. This, <laughs> it's, it is awesome. All right guys, couple minutes later, we are all set. Got our temporary boost line hooked up to our uh, mechanical gauge that's ran inside the cab. Just a little eighth inch uh, airline going from our Banks Monster Ram inside the cab here to our very, very custom zip tie pillar mount with our boost gauge here. So this is not an electronic gauge, just a just a manual uh, line coming right from the engine inside here. Uh, so that should work well. We also got our Easy Link hooked up underneath here so we can monitor our EGTs like I was telling you. EGT number five on your Easy Link is what's gonna connect to that uh, EGT gauge that I showed you guys yesterday. If you guys did miss yesterday's video, go back and watch it. I'll kind of explains all of that cool uh, EGT kit that we installed. So we're gonna go ahead and start this up. I'll show you guys the EGT kit is working. Uh, we'll go from there. All right. Coming up. So that is working well. We're gonna back this thing out, hit the road, see if the rain wants to cooperate so we can try and give you guys a rundown. All right, guys, we're gonna give this a shot. It is raining even harder now. We got a GoPro there. We got a GoPro in the back. Uh, yes, they are definitely tied off. I learned my lesson. We got our boost gauge over here. Hopefully we'll be able to see that. So yeah. Let's try and give this a go. GT gauge is working very nicely. All right, I think we already have our first failure. I don't know why, but it looks like our boost gauge may not be working. This may be a failed attempt here, boys. I'll tell you what though, I'm not even like half throttle. This thing just wants to pull. Well guys, I apologize. I don't know how well, if any, GoPro footage is usable. I stopped to check them, seeing that it's starting to rain hard. Uh, they were freaking out. I tried to keep the open backs on them so you could see, or actually, I'm sorry, so you could hear the noise, because without the open backs, you can't really hear anything with a GoPro. Uh, so I don't know how well that worked out. I tried to get our boost gauge working. Our boost gauge is not working. Oh boy, this is just a, a glorious, rainy, rainy day. So we're gonna try and do a couple highway pulls. Uh, I mean, this thing this thing is responding super quick. Uh, it's blowing the rear tires off. I know everybody's got a thousand horsepower in the rain, but uh, it feels really, really good. Uh, zero complaints. Uh, we, while we were at the shop, we did check for leaks. Uh, there's no leaks, everything looks good. Uh, so really, uh, two thumbs up thus far. about 950 there this rain is just absolutely killing me right now Unfortunately, that is pretty much all I'm going to be able to offer you guys as far as driving experience and sound clips uh, with the weather and now it's completely dark outside. Uh, but overall, just an amazing experience. Really, really fun to drive. Super responsive. The one thing that I did forget to mention, a series of turbochargers is called the Cheetah. It's actually 2.5 work stock legal. It's a stock appearing charger. So if you guys are into sled pulling, anything like that, this will work for your uh, stock appearing work stock 
top class. So uh, that's actually where it's a cheetah, cheater. Uh, Turbo's a cheater uh, because it's a stock appearing, but really it's it's not. So uh, that's where that name actually came from. Michael, Michael, our man Mikey G told me to remind you guys of that. So um, that is going to pretty much do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Head over to wrenchworks.com, uh, grab some of that winter stuff. Um, it would make your significant other very happy if you are watching that with them. So go ahead and do that. Um, but that's going to do it. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very pleased on how the dually is driving. Um, again, super concerned about the amount of weight that we tow. Didn't want something super laggy. As far as lag goes, this is definitely by far the most responsive aftermarket turbocharger that I've uh, ever dealt with. Even my other 6.7 with a S400 swap for 67, that is a 67.7839. So that's about the tightest S400 uh, besides going to like a 463 or a 464 that you're gonna get. You're gonna with that 83 turbine wheel and a 0.9 housing. This turbo can probably produce the same amount of power, maybe just a little bit less if you're gonna try and go for maybe a little over 700, but is 10 times more responsive. So keep that in mind. Uh, but overall, two huge thumbs up again from the guys at Fleece, everything, uh, and, and, the, and the guys at Steed Speed. All of the gaskets are high quality gaskets that give you everything you need to install this stuff. Didn't have one hiccup trying to accomplish this in one night, which is very, very important. We didn't have to go chasing around, grabbing parts, stuff like that. So. Uh, that's gonna do it guys. I love you guys hit the like button before you leave subscribe if you have not already And I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, maybe not tomorrow We actually have a wedding that Allie and I are going to for uh, a family member But we will be back the next day getting the 05 back on the road and having some fun with that So thank you guys hit the like button before you leave subscribe if you have not already See you tomorrow. See ya.